Hey, Peter Buswell here for DrVOYP.com. We are an Amazon Connect service delivery partner. So if there's anything we can do to help you get your contact center up, running, or integrated with uh, some special custom requirement you have, please give us a call. We'd be glad to help. Today's uh, tech tip is uh, designed to address a very common requirement in call centers, which is, is today a holiday? If you're uh, um, going to have the call center close on a holiday, then we need to know if this is a holiday. So in this uh, configuration, we wanted to use a standard uh, but very simple Lambda function. And when I say simple, the goal here was to create a single function uh, that uh, required nothing in terms of a database. So you would expect that there would be some database uh, that uh, you would check to see if today is a holiday. Uh, but unlike the hours of operation that you can check when you uh, set up a contact flow, you can say, check the operating hours. There is no such thing in Amazon Connect uh, for a holiday. Uh, I, always, uh, I always found that amusing because if you could set up the hours, it seemed like they could easily set up uh, a holiday list, but that's not the subject here. The subject is how do we solve that problem? So what we wanted to do was check the opening hours. If we're open, then the next thing we want to do is find out if today is a holiday and uh, we need to route the caller to some kind of holiday call handling. So our goal was to create a simple uh, Lambda function uh, with no database such that um, everything would be contained in the lambda function so we're not going to we're not going to uh, pass anything in when we invoke the function and the only thing we want back is basically a boolean uh, today is a holiday true today is not a holiday false uh, i'm saying boolean but understand lambda in, in Amazon Connect requires a string response, not a Boolean response. So let me save you some grief. You write your function um, and you say uh, you're going to return a Boolean. Amazon Connect uh, invoke Lambda function will fail. So keep that in mind. You want to return a string value. And the second part of this was that we wanted no database. Right? I don't want to have to cre create a Dynamo uh, DB database with a list of uh, holidays. And uh, what we decided to do was just put the um, holiday list as a string of dates, an array object, if you will, uh, that uh, is in the environmental variables in the Lambda function. So the whole function uh, can be implemented and uh, will live entirely uh, by itself with no external database. The database will basically be the environmental variables. So the function itself is uh, pretty straightforward. I don't expect you can read this. Uh, the function is available on the Dr. VoIP site. Uh, but what what we're doing here is kind of interesting. We're not going to pass anything into the function, uh, but the function needs to know what today's date is. So JavaScript has a little function called date, uh, which uh, we use that uh, when we invoke the function, we get today's date. And then basically we just iterate through that uh, list of holidays in the environmental um, variables. And when we find that we have a match, we set the status to true. If we find that uh, we have nothing matching the dates that are holidays in the variable, 
environmental variables, we say false and we return false. And uh, that's about it. The, you know, it's about, the handler itself is about <laughs> 23 uh, lines of code. Uh, for some reason, we deployed this using serverless and it somehow manages to bring the line count up to about 2,000. But the, the basic function is pretty simple. Get, you know, set the time zone, uh, then try uh, the current date using the JavaScript date function, uh, and then loop through my variable list of holidays, uh, just looking for a match, and return something called status, which is either true or false. So the basic, um, the basic contact flow is pretty simple. Uh, pretty much the way you would branch uh, in your contact flows. If you have uh, on hours, you're going to go one way. If it's off hours, it's going to go another way. Uh, just add one more check, uh, uh, which would be to call uh, the flow that you have set up to check if today is a holiday. A very simple flow. Uh, we invoke the Lambda function here. And um, uh, we have uh, an error prompt. Uh, but here, all we're doing uh, for demonstration purposes is just checking the function works. So you hit that puppy, it's going to return uh, true or false. We have a contact, uh, check contact attribute here, and that's what it's looking for. Uh, is it true or false? If it's true, uh, go, you know, handle. Uh, go branch off to a contact flow that handles your uh, holiday uh, processing. If it's not, just hand it off to the rest of your contact flow for an open call center. That's it. It's pretty straightforward, uh, pretty simple. Uh, head over to the drvoip.com website. Uh, there's a blog there that discusses uh, this in greater detail. And you can also acquire that uh, function yourself if you'd like to make use of it. Hope you have found this uh, informative, and I thank you for viewing.